let's say that I want to take down your website. I might want to do that for a variety of different reasons. I might be trying to extort money from you. I might just not like the things on your website. I might have some sort of beef with your organization. Or I might just want to be causing chaos and disruption. So how can I do that? A common attack that's launched on websites and other types of web services across the internet is something called a denial of service attack. A denial of service attack attempts to prevent a website or some web service from operating normally by overwhelming it with requests. So let's say I have a web server and you know uh, what normally happens is I'm over here and I've got my computer and I make some request to that web server and the web server sends me back some sort of resource some sort of HTML document or something like that. Um, and you can imagine you know in the normal course of your browsing activities you make a request, you process the document, you might read it, it's got some content, it's got pictures on it, you look at those, whatever. Um, but you know, you're generating requests at a certain rate. And websites and web servers are provisioned, they're designed to handle a certain number of requests. So if you have a website or a web server that serves like a huge website, like a big news organization or a big search engine, you actually use lots and lots of machines to provide that so that you can distribute the load over all of them. If you have a web server that serves like a small site, like the site for this class or the site for my group, you might just have one machine or maybe even a, like a little piece of a machine that you're using to serve that site. But normal operation, you get a certain number of requests, you handle those requests, everything is okay. What I try to do with the denial of service attack is I try to issue lots more requests. So rather than just issuing requests like a normal human user would, um, you know, slowly because I'm interacting with the page, I issue like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of requests. And I try to issue them as fast as I can. And my goal is to slow down your server by overwhelming it with all of these meaningless requests because I don't care about the request. I'm not making the request because I'm interested in some page that your server is, is providing, I'm making all of these requests so quickly because I'm trying to bring your server down, I'm trying to either get it to crash, or frequently in a denial of service attack, the server may not be crashed, but it may be so slow that it can't handle legitimate requests. So for example, let's say that um, you know I, uh, this is the server and it's sitting here and it's trying to handle requests and all of a sudden its queue you know, is filled up with thousands and thousands and thousands of requests, most of which are totally illegitimate. They're requests that are created by the attacker trying to get the site to slow down. So when you go to the site, you know, your request ends up here at the bottom of the queue and your web browser sits there spinning for a minute, spinning for a minute. Um, and then maybe if you're lucky, it finally gets to like one of the resources you requested, but then you need the CSS for the page and anyway. anyway. So the, you know, the goal here is jam the web server queue or some part of the networking infrastructure here full of these illegitimate requests. Force the web server to spend so much time uh, handling these garbage requests that it has no time left to handle legitimate queries. Now, this example is not the way that this is typically done. Uh, it's typically done using a, a large group of machines, uh, but this illustrates the point. So denial of the service attack, try to overwhelm the web server with illegitimate requests so that the legitimate requests slow down to the point where the site becomes unusable.